Hello, 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 hello. It's Kate Bolt, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in the UK for another Copy and Cards Live. I can't believe it's Tuesday afternoon and we're back for another one. Um, but saying that, I wasn't here last week. I've had a week off. It's been half term holidays for the kids from school. So I've had my youngest home from school. We've had the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. It's been a lovely week. Um, so whilst I missed doing copy and cards, we've had a great week uh, and I hope you have too. So I'm just going to wait a few minutes to see if anyone hops on and joins me live. It has been an amazing week. Um, this time of year we celebrate birthdays in our house. So we have had my son's 21st birthday party, we've had my husband's birthday, we've had the Queen's Jubilee, we've had two bank holidays, uh, a national holiday for the Jubilee, lots of celebrations for that and um, we've been out for dinner, lots of birthday cake, lots of celebration. It's been quite a week. So in my life, there's been a lot going on. Um, I hope all is well with you, but it's lovely to be back. So nice to be back um, and do some crafting with you in the afternoon. Now, uh, on the crafting front, we've got a lot going on with Stampin' Up! as well. There's tons going on. So currently we are in the middle of this gorgeous catalogue, which is the January to June mini catalogue. This one is um, currently, um, this one is current. It's our mini kind of spring summer edition. It's full of beautiful things. This is retiring at the end of this month. So we have um, a sale going on for the last chance items that are retiring out of this catalogue. So that is live on my online shop at katebolt.stampinup.net. Have a look, see, there's some bargains that's up to 50% off. Hi Sam, lovely of you to join me. So this one is retiring, end of this month it'll be gone and lots of the goodies in it will be gone too. So if there's anything you want, papers, stamps, dies, have a look in the last chance sale in my online shop. So that one is, you know, some of the news from this week. Um, we are currently in our annual catalogue that's been launched about a month now, something like that. Uh, our brand new annual, annual catalogue and we're very excited because the July to December catalogue has launched for demonstrators and we're currently, we've got the digital copy, we're currently doing our pre-order and we have, um, we've got them coming through our letterboxes so we're excited to see that and see what's in it. There's so many gorgeous things I've had a look, very excited for all the new, new things. So there's lots going on in the crafting world, lots of products are launching, lots of nice things. If you'd like a catalogue from me, pop a comment down below and I'll, I'll send you one in the post, no problem. Hi Margaret, thank you for joining me. Hello, welcome to any of you that are joining me this afternoon. It's a gorgeous day here in Buckinghamshire. The sun is shining. We've had a couple of days where it's been not so great. So the day before yesterday at night, it tipped with rain. I think it was Sunday, so that was the Jubilee day where we were all doing our picnics and street parties and things, so the weather wasn't so great for that. Um, but yesterday it was a bit drier and today the sun is out. It's lovely. Hello Mary, thank you for joining me. Um, I'm quite excited because uh, I've got a guy out the front who's fixing my bicycle now. I haven't ridden it for about 10 years, probably more. So he's servicing my bike, so... I better uh, be careful because I imagine that I'm going to be, uh, yeah, I'm going to be out and about on that and getting uh, getting some use out of it. So I'm quite excited, like a child. All right. So this afternoon we are going to be doing some crafting, and I decided to get this gorgeous bundle out that I've not used very much. It's really great. I love it. I bought it mostly for scrapbooking. I've used it a little bit for that, and I thought it was high time I got it out for coffee and cards. And it's called the Hello Beautiful stamp set. And it's got all these lovely kind of shapes and images. It's got some fantastic sentiments in there. It's got this calls for a celebration. Thank you. Hello Beautiful. First of all, you're amazing. I miss your face. So happy to know you. And then it's got all these fabulous shapes on it. But the reason I was attracted to it mostly was the dies. Now, when I uh, turn the camera around, I'll show you the dies up close a great die set for it it's amazing it's part of a suite now the um stamp and die bundle are have carried over to the new annual catalogue yay 
Hi Claire, thank you for joining me. Um, but from the January to June catalogue, the other products in the suite, the Hello Beautiful suite, are retiring. So we've got an ephemera set, which is full of lots of shapes, die cuts, and I've used a lot of mine in my scrapbook pages. We've got these gorgeous hexagon. I'm not sure if these are carrying over. These might be staying, but they're definitely here to the end of June anyway. The adhesive backed um, hexagons, but they will be, if they are, somebody will tell me, if they are retiring, they'll be in the last chance sale, but so, or the last chance items to get hold of. So just check those out if you like those. Uh, that's part of the suite. And the papers. We've got some great papers as part of this suite. Um, I'll show you those better up close as well, but they are an interesting size. They're four by six and they are metallic, they're golds. Uh, speciality design and series papers with all these gorgeous images. Um, a big packet of those go in part of that suite, and these will be these will definitely be retiring at the end of June. So as far as I know, they're still available, but you never know. It depends when you're watching this, because you may be able to watch on replay, or you might be watching on YouTube. Hello, Linny. Thank you for joining me, my love. Anyway, it's coffee and cards. Therefore, I have my coffee. I hope you've got yours. I had a long meeting this morning from 9.30 to 11.30 on Teams. I managed to um, get all my setup done and then go off and have some lunch for a bit. So I have a lunch and I've got my coffee. So I hope you're all ready. For a spot of crafting. Yeah. You might be just watching, you might be crafting along with me. Let me know what you're doing. But, um, oh, let me think. There was something else I needed to tell you, Stampin' Up! news-wise. We've got a sale on the kits. Stampin' Up! we've got a kits collection. You probably heard me talking about them before because I love the kits. Um, they're quick and easy, or there's, you know, you can make them into whatever you like. They are fantastic, and we've got quite a selection. But for this month, I think it's this month, We've got buy one, get one half price. Bargain, buy one, get 50% off the next one. Guess what I'll be getting? Some kits. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna start some crafting. So here we go. Do bear with me when whilst I do this. It's a little bit clunky whilst I turn the tripod around. We just get a little bit of a dark blank screen for a second. But that's okay because I'm just Fiddle faddling. It's a technical word, you know, fiddle faddle. <laughs> fiddle faddle. It's de very technical. I have the dog in here with me. He's by my feet. He's keeping a beady eye on the mobile bicycle servicing man at the front who's fixing my bike. He is making sure. That's my light there, so I'm just going to balance it there. I have a spell, an extra light. It helps me reduce the glare on the recording. Right, I'm my washi tape to stick this down a little bit, although my washi tape isn't very sticky. <laughs> I know that's the point of it, but it really isn't. <laughs> Okay, so I was going to show you the dies, because we're going to be using those. So these are the dies. No, they're not. They're the other dies I'm going to use. These are the dies that go with the Hello Beautiful stamp set bundle. Um, let's have a look. These are called the Beautiful Shapes dies. Aren't they fabulous? So you've got all these hexagons and all of these. There's two little half hexagons, two hexagons together. These kind of little diamonds and triangles. You've got all these circles. This kind of swirly circle and these swirly oval shapes. Absolutely brilliant for making like hexagon patterns or whatever you fancy on your cards. And that's what drew me to this set, to be honest, with you in the first place. Oh, somebody leave me a comment to let me know you're there, won't you? Um, right, okay, so I thought we'd, cho we'd choose some cheerful summery colours, seeing as um, summer has arrived. It's come back after the rain. Okay, um, and I have got a coastal, I want to say it's coastal cabana card base. So I've taken a piece of coastal cabana card, the A4, scored it 
at 10.5 centimeters and then cut it at 14.8 so how are you Lily are you well I've got a piece for the front which is I might actually yeah I'm not going to stamp on this I'll probably no, I'm going to leave this one on here so this one is 14.3 by 10 so it's half centimeter smaller and this one's the same size and goes inside this is your sentiment one to write on there you go so you can see what you've written okay and i got a scrap not a scrap a piece of basic white cardstock as well so the colors i've chosen for this i've gone with the same ink as the card base i've gone with some mint macaron and I've gone with some polished pink, so some bright, shiny colours I've gone for. And I have chosen one of the stamps. I have chosen this little splodge. See all these gorgeous shapes. Loads. There's even leaves and sort of flower shapes and little pluses, minuses, arrows and sort of cross-hatchy things. Hello Anne, lovely of you to join me. So I'm just going to grab a block. I thought I had my block out. Right, okay, and we're going to do some random stamping. This is going to be fun. I've got, it tells me that I've got a lovely little group of you watching me. How nice is that? So thank you if you're joining me live, but I can't see any comments. So if you are commenting, I have no idea why I can't see it, but uh, let me know. Let me know and then I can tell you if I can actually see it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some random stamping with this kind of splodge stamp. I've got a polished pink one. And I'm going to close it. I'm going to go in for the Coastal Cabana. I'm going to go like that. And then Mint Macaron. Like that. And I might actually stamp off the mint as well to create something a little bit different on a piece of scrappy paper so you still get kind of a shade a different shade does that make sense i hope it makes sense you get a shade lighter if you stamp it off i think oh, actually i could have yeah i could have left that on there and done that again um where's my scrap paper there it is And I'm just, I'm not really thinking about this. I'm just kind of making some shapes with a random pattern. Bit more bright pink in there. And a bit more of the mint, full strength, and then I'll stamp it off. Now it is fairly random, so I may need to do some more. We might not need all we've got. I'm going to cut it out now with the little hexagon dies. So let's move those three ink pads out of the way. So these are the dies. And I wanted to make a thank you card. You can put anything you like on your card. Um, it would serve pretty much any kind of purpose with just some pretty colours. Um, but I wanted to make a thank you card. So I decided to use this thank you, which I've got out ready. And I wanted to put it on one of the hexagons. So I decided that this kind of, I think it's this one. Is it this one? Ooh, I dropped it. Yeah, it's that first hexagon, not the second one, would actually fit that thank you perfectly. 
So if you have a sentiment, just decide which shape die it will fit. Um, you could do it across two die cuts if you wanted to, because we're going to do it in black. So I'm going to start cutting these out on my Stabbing Up Cut and Emboss machine, and I'm going to decide what I want. So I want it to start here, maybe. I'm going to do three hexagons. Start here, then here, and then here. Okay. So I wonder if I could bring in my little one and you could see what I'm doing. Such a handy thing, this little, the mini boss. Mini boss, I like it. So I'm going to cut a piece of this off so that it will fit in the mini boss. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it should fit now. Let's have a look. Open it up. This is such a great thing, this little Stampin' Up Cutting Boss machine. It's so cool and so useful. So let's decide how it's going to be. Can you see it? Yeah, let's have a little bit of pink showing. Like that. Pop that through. Here we go. I always move my paper when I'm doing that underneath. Oh, there we go. So I've got one. Now I want it to look like my, my shapes and my pattern are connected. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to line it up next to it. Pop it through again. Are you all very shy or can't I see the comments? Maybe you're very shy. <laughs> and then this one. So let me know what uh, you think. Maybe I just can't see any comments today. I might just pop my laptop on in a second. I'm going to just pop that one through. Oops. There we go. Hold it tight. Or <laughs> All the way. That should do it. See, my, my washi tape does not stick my grid paper there very well. Right, what do we got? We got our piece of paper that's left. We've got our die, which I'll put back away so I don't lose. Okay, and we've got our three shapes. Lovely. Which is what I wanted. And I've got my card base and I've got my piece of basic white card. Now, I'm just going to open up my laptop and see what's going on. So, here we go. Oh, sorry about that, let's mute it. Make sure I'm live in the right place. And that all is well as well. Oh, look, there's lots of, there's lots of lovely comments. Well, thank you for commenting, ladies. I have no idea why they're not showing up on my, I'm videoing with my phone. So you're knitting, Gisella, that's lovely. Uh, you are here, Sam. Thank you. You're watching and you're crocheting, are you, Linny? I'd love to see what you're all making. 
pop over to my ink stamp share your craft group and um, pop some photos of what you're making in there I would love to see it I would love to doesn't matter what craft it is we're all happy for crafting okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work out I'm gonna work out exactly where these how I cut these out oops sorry I didn't mean to knock you then I was getting excited right so that one goes that way that one goes that way and then that one's gonna go that way do you see what I did there <laughs> it's like a little jigsaw puzzle so I'm gonna have these here this is the idea now this one I'm gonna stamp on I'm gonna stamp my thank you on it so if I bring it here pop it on my grid paper nice and straight bring in my black ink I'm so glad that you're here and you're commenting. Do you know what? It's funny different devices playing up like that, isn't it? It's obviously not Facebook's fault. I don't know what's going on. Oh, never mind. Okay, so I'm going to stamp thank you across the middle. And as it's in this black, it should show out nicely. Yay! I like it when a plan comes together. Nice new memento ink pad. It's all nice and new and nice and clean. So that one's going to go on there. So you can see how it's kind of going to look. But I've got something else I'm going to do first. So I'm going to grab my scrappy paper all over again. That I've got here. And it's kind of folded in half with a load of kind of um, stuff on it. I'm going to do that with it. And now I have got this color card base. That's Coastal Cabana. Um, just checking, I can't see any more comments. And I've picked up my Coastal Cabana um, Stampin' Right marker. These are not the blend pens. These are like water-based markers. You can get in all the different Stampin' Up colors. And I am going to do a little ink spattering trick with it to show you. Right, it's got a thin kind of pen tip and then it's got a brush tip and I'm going to use my lid to splatter the ink across my piece of cardstock and I want it to kind of go in this direction not all over I want to leave some white space so I'm just going to use the lid on the side of the brush tip without being too hard because I don't want to damage it and just splatter it over so you get this nice kind of, oh, I made a mark on it let's do it on the other side I got too close it's because the camera's there I didn't want to Lift it up to high. There we go. That's quite cool, isn't it? You can get carried away. That's the only thing. So we've got our splattering. Just creates a nice little background in the same colours that you're using. Okay. And I'm going to bring these down like this. Yeah. And I'm going to bring in my adhesive. So I'm going to use, oh, look, I have a new sheet. <gasps> a new sheet of Stamping Dimensionals. Am I the only one who gets excited by a new sheet of Stamping Dimensionals? Am I? Do tell me I'm not the only one. Anyways, I'm going to start off with the thank you when. <laughs> I'm going to put a couple on the back. Natty, and that's Natty. Honestly, um, my even my laptop is not updating the comments. I just have to refresh it. That's very odd. Maybe it is a Facebook thing. Hi, Joanne. Thanks for watching. I'm making a card using the Abstract Beauty Suite. Right, so I'm going to pop that one down there like that. It's a very simple card. Just using well, there's a little bit of die cutting, a bit of ink splattering. And just some stamping of some simple shapes. Nice for coffee and cards, not too difficult. But I'm going to make another one and step it up a little bit. Because there is so much you could do with this set. It is absolutely brilliant. I'm going to leave a little gap. Because I quite like the idea of having a, having a gap there. 
come back in with a couple more. I could have had it down a bit further, couldn't I, on the card. I think I've stuck it a bit hard now to pull it off. Would it come? No, let's leave it there. And just I don't know if it'll come down a bit if I leave it as it is. Right, okay, that's not straight. There, that's straight. Thank you, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to stick it on the front and I'm going to use my tape runner seal, stamp and seal. Love this. Absolutely love stamp and seal. I get through tons and tons and tons of it. It does exactly what it was meant to do. So, pop that on the front. That's the front of the card. Okay, and then this is my inside. So I need to do a little bit of stamping there. So what I think I'll do is I'll go back in and I'll grab my scrappy paper. I'm just waving out the window to the man fixing my bike. He's finished. Brilliant, absolute brilliant job. Okay, so I am going to just do it like that. Stamp them all off, like so. Just clean it on my chamois. I've got a chamois just out of sight. Where's the other color gone? There it is. thank you for joining me apologies if i don't respond to your comments i'm trying to keep up with them they are not showing up on my phone and i am recording on my phone they are showing up on my laptop though so it is a kind of a bit of i'm trying <laughs> it's very weird i'm not sure why this is just a bit of random color stamping in the middle The last pink one, like that, and then I stamped them off so that it echoed what was on the front of the stamp, but it was pale enough for me to stamp my thank you again on the inside over the top. Thank you. Oh, yeah, look at that, that works, doesn't it? Happy days. I like that. So, we're going to stick that one inside. Let's move our scrappy paper out of the way. There we go. We're going to pop it inside. Such a simple card. There we go. I'm being spoilt today, guys. Hello, Philomena. Lovely of you to join us. I'm being spoilt because my husband's just brought me in another cup of coffee. And I still have my, my coffee and cards coffee. So I better have a little drink. I do apologise. I do find that I start off with a cup of coffee and it's mostly just there cold at the end. So do excuse me, have a little drink. Put the other ones. Put the other one I'll be talking a million miles an hour by the end of this because of all the coffee. There's our first card. How simple is that? I hope you like it. Would you like to know where I got the idea? This is not my uh, design. Um, sometimes Stamping Up demonstrators send each other swaps. When we call what we talk about swaps is we make a bunch of cards and we swap them with other people. And I had a card front swap from a lovely uh, lady who's not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator anymore. 
um, she was, she's absolutely lovely and she made me this gorgeous, and it actually says on the back, April 2018 swap for going to On Stage, which is a Stampin' Up! convention. It's my lovely friend Karen Spreckley. And she used the tail tag punch and she used a different stamp set. I don't even know, it'll tell me on here. This was a oh so eclectic and touches of texture, which I don't think you can get anymore, but she, I keep the ones that really inspire me um, and I thought I'd use it for inspiration this is Karen Spreckley's and it's great isn't it I love it so I was kind of thinking hmm, maybe I could recreate this for copying cards with the hexagons so that is where I got I even used the similar not quite the same but the similar kind of color scheme actually I that wasn't intentional um, but they are my favorites so there we go so that's where I got the idea from you can find inspiration anywhere you look. Just have a look in your catalogue because it's an ideas book. Um, and you get loads of ideas from there too. Right, let's put that one to the side. Oh, my lovely husband, James Bolt's uh, watching. Hello, Jim. Thank you for my coffee. Oh, how nice is that? You're welcome to join in. Right, let me put my laptop back on. So, oh, how are you doing, everybody? Right, let's bring in this other one. Now, I decided that I rather liked this nice, bright, polished pink, and I thought we'd go with this for my next card. And the reason is I brought in the designer series papers in this suite into this card, because these are sadly retiring, but they are so beautiful. I wanted to show them to you, give them a last hurrah, in case you wanted them before they go. Aren't they gorgeous? Okay, and um, the colours in them have the polished pink. They've got some Knight of Navy, there's some black, there's some Barbie blue. They're speciality, so they've got gold foiling. Really, really pretty papers. And they echo the stamps too. So, I have brought in the pink. And I've got another piece of basic white card for the front. The same size as we had before. I have got, oh, I've got my pieces cut out and I don't want to drop them. So, let's just sort this out. Put them there. I'm sure I'm going to drop these everywhere and mix them all up. I'm not going to know what they are. doesn't really matter, I suppose. So, this piece is for the inside, exactly the same. So I thought I'd try with this. Now this is a hexagon die from the same die set that I showed you that's part of this bundle, the Beautiful Shapes dies. And it cuts two out at a time. How handy is that? Super handy. And so all I did was I had a leaf through these gorgeous papers and I picked one out that I liked. Okay. I like this one. And it's interestingly... There's lots of different shapes, but it's the same shape as the stamp that we used on the last card, this, this piece. And I've cut out a load of these, so I literally put it on one, two, three, four times, ran it through my machine, and I've ended up with lots of these little hexagons. So I've done that part already. Proper Blue Peter style. <laughs> if any of you are from the UK, you'll know what I'm talking about. Blue Peter was a kids' TV programme. And they used to show you how to make things and they do it part done halfway through to save time. Okay, so here's my hexagons. So here they are. But, so you can see how they've cut the shapes out really nicely. And I think it goes like this or something like that. Okay, so, but what I'm going to do first is... That splatter effect that I did on the last card, I wanted to recreate that, but I wanted it in gold. So I thought, how am I going to recreate this splatter in gold? Well, you know what? I do love a bit of embossing, don't I? But I didn't have a splatter stamp in this set. But you could use these little dots. They would be perfect. Or any of these little shapes if you wanted to, because there's a lot of shapes. But I actually thought, oh, I've, I've been using a splatter stamp recently. There's one in the new Nature's Print set. So I'm just going to cheat, take one from another stamp set and have a go. Now, I've not made this before. This is in my head, this card. <laughs> so let's go for it and see how we get on. 
but I'll pop my um... now I've got my um, embossing set now I do happen to know ladies and gents <laughs> let me be careful there I do happen to know because we have seen it see this tray I bought I picked this tray up in a craft fair like about 15 years ago I absolutely love it um, but I do happen to know that in the brand new July to December catalogue, we have a stamping uh, embossing kit and this one of these is part of it. How cool is that? I think it's got an embossing buddy. It's got one of these. Yeah, it's brilliant. So I'll be getting a new one because I've not managed to find another one like it. So this will be fantastic. All right. Now, I don't think I might need to re-ink my Versamark. If you get a Versamark ink pad, if it's looking anything like mine, it's a bit dirty, it doesn't matter, as long as it has plenty of ink in it. And you can buy the refill. So that's why mine always looks a bit well-worn, because it is well-worn. <laughs> but you can re-ink it and it'll carry on giving you life for a long time. I'm going to have a bit of fun with these splatters and see how we get on. Let's bring it into the middle. Right, let's put a bit of splattering. Now you can't see it because it is clear. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time so we can see what we're dealing with. So. so I've got my splatters going across there like that. Then I'm going to put some more. What fab splatter stamps, quite a lot. I didn't imagine they'd be quite this large, but you know, we're gonna go with it. All right, put the lid on the ink pad. Pop all those out of the way. And just, there we go. Oh, lots of splatters on this one, there's a hair. How did that get there? <laughs> and I've got my handy paintbrush, which I use to get off any little kind of stray bits that we don't want. But I don't think it matters too much on this one because we've got it's meant to be splattery. So this is how this works. We get to keep all that embossing powder in the right place. Yeah, looking forward to getting my hands on the new stamping up one of those. Okay, time to heat it. Let's grab my heat gun. Have it here, ready. <laughs> here we go. It's like wrapped around everything. No, it's a bit noisy. And we'll see. See it change. I love heat embossing, it never gets old. There we go, can you see it change colour? Oh my goodness, how gorgeous is that gold? So, just step this one up a little bit with some heat embossing. You don't have to add that if you don't want. Still make the same card without it if you want to. All right, let me just there we are. Let's just refresh this page because for some reason Facebook is not playing ball very well today. But how cute is that? How nice is that? Now it's time to bring in all these, and I've got a feeling I've mixed them all up. <laughs> so what I might do. 
my laptop's not even refreshing now, is bring in where I actually cut them out and see. So that's that one. And that is that one. And you can just match up the colours. You don't have to even have them in the right place, but I just a bit anal. <laughs> And so there'd be one if I left any behind. There. And then that one there. That one there. Oh, this one has to therefore. No? Maybe that one goes there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to push them through. Okay. So we got them in the right place. <laughs> Cheating, wasn't I? All right. Okay. We don't have to use all of these. I just wanted them to match up. How weird that that one doesn't match that side it probably does okay i'm gonna put that one here that one here i'm gonna bring it over slightly into the middle of the card so you can fiddle faddle with your hexagons as much as it pleases you i'm a bit of a fiddle faddler as you might have noticed don't know if I'll bother with that one. Let's have a look. And that might work. Even though that one doesn't go there, it doesn't really matter. I've obviously got some somewhere else. One down there. That might work. So I've then brought in, I've got some more dies. We've got um, an, a fantastic set of dies that I love. Oh, I might just leave that one off. I think less is more. Called the Amazing Thanks Dies. How cool are these? Now, they don't look like much, do they? They says, they says, they say, Thank you, or thanks, thanks, you see that, thanks, and then this is the outline of the thanks, so you can do those in different colours, and they do the same in all these words, thanks, you are amazing, amazing thanks dies, I really love these, <laughs> any word dies, I'm all over, so I have cut it out already, Blue Peter, here we come, and I've taken the Knight of Navy colour there from there and I've taken some gold from our metallic, brushed metallic cardstock and cut the thanks out. So before I do any more, I'm going to pop these hexagons up on, more hexagons <laughs> on Stampin' Dimensionals. I think I'll just use one each. Oh, we'll leave a little gap so you can see the gold peeping through underneath. You might want more than one, but I think one might do. So yeah, there we are. Make sure they're straight. Yeah, you could definitely do more than one sticky dimensional if you want. I'm quite happy with it though. But they would fit. There we go. You're getting stuck to those dimensional backs. Do any of you um, ever find them places? I find them everywhere. They travel around the house <laughs> they honestly do sometimes find them on the dog i haven't found any on the cat yet 
but you never know. I just want them straight. Uh, that way. That makes sense, doesn't it? And you can see that gold behind it. Okay, and then I'm going to pop the thanks over the top. So I'm going to use some, I might, actually, no, I'm going to use my mm, liquid glue. When in doubt, when in doubt, get the Tombow out. <laughs> it's going to be my new mantra. When in doubt, get the Tombow out. Liquid glue, it lets you move things around a little bit. Now, I'm not sure if it will need any on the ends because I think it's going to hang over the edge. So I think that's fine. Thanks. Lovely. And a little bit here. So you wouldn't have to make this a thank you card. You could still use these dies if you rather like them. And uh, you could put your amazing, it could be a celebratory card. You could use a different die on there. You could use whatever you like. You could just put a sentiment, a stamp sentiment over there. Whatever you fancied. And then this echoes the gold. But the blue is dark enough, I feel, to... Oh, okay, this stuck to me. The blue is dark enough for it to show out. Now that tombow will dry clear. Right. Okay, so thanks. Now this is where we get the pink back in. I'm going to pop that on there. Oh, I like it. I might let that dry for a moment before I um, turn it over to put the glue on. And we might just do the inside. So I think on the inside we should echo that um, splatter stamp, maybe in the pink. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll link it up with that bright pink, I'll stamp it off and then we're going to make it a little bit less like we stamped off on the last card we'll make it a little bit less vibrant that might be enough okay let's give it a clean mm -hmm. yeah grab the night of navy ink i think we want here we go and we will use the thanks, the thank you that we used on the first card that is part of this suite. So we're not going to dip into any other products. Try and keep it to one suite if we can. Thank you. So you'd like to know that if you've purchased the bundle that you can make everything with it. So here we go. Thank you. Let's put some glue on the back of there. Of seal. We are getting there. Thank you. This makes me want to sing a song, this one. An ABBA song, a well known ABBA song, but I won't. Because <laughs> you won't thank me for it, I'm telling you now. You won't thank me for singing. Ah, oh, thank you, Linny. <laughs> I'm just seeing your comments. Sorry, Shaz, Jim didn't bring you a cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Linny. That is going to be an absolutely amazing item in the new catalogue. The um, the embossing kit is going to be make such a difference because I get lots of questions. Where do you get your tray? So yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, you had to go back to work. Thank you. Linny, you're so kind to watch. Okay, so we're going to pop it on the front. Now it's dried a little bit. Oh, I like the I like the colours. I really like it. So I've just taken the colours from the designer series paper. 
taking it from these papers here which i didn't really show you properly but i'll show you so these are the abstract beauty designer series papers and they're foiled and they're very beautiful <laughs> And they're really, really useful. And these are probably in the last chance sale because they'll be retiring at the end of this month. I better crack on and use some of mine. Aren't they gorgeous? This is the other side. So if you're not into these bright colors and shapes, you can go for the more muted, really good. They're even be good for scrapbooks and things because you could uh, use them for matting and layering and all sorts. But great for your car. So that's what those colours are from that designer series paper there. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to pop on this card, if I could match it, were the little adhesive backed hexagons. So there's some of this colour, isn't there? I could definitely use the pink, the blushing bride, I presume that is. I presume. Let me grab my take a pick tool. Oh, Alfie's coming in. He does let himself in whenever he likes. So I don't want to put them too all over the card because we've got all those splatters that kind of embellish it. I just want to add a little bit of, to, to kind of echo the hexagons. I'm covering it. Bring it in there, that's fine. So, thanks. So, I think these ones, this pink one, is going to be this, this. we have got this one using just the bundle. This just uses the bundle of the stamps and the dies of the um, beautiful shapes dies. And this one brings in a splatter stamp. You don't actually have to use this. Um, and it brings in the amazing thanks dies as well. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope you might be inspired to play with the artistic dyes and the beautiful shapes. And uh, if you've watched me uh, live, thank you so much for joining me live. It means a lot. Um, if you like any of the goodies I've used, you can find them in my online shop at katebolt.stampinup.net. Don't forget to have a look at that last chance sale. If you want one of the brand new catalogues that's coming out, leave me a comment or send me a message and I'll send you one in the post. If you're watching me on replay from Tomorrowland, please leave me a, uh, a message to say you're watching from the future and let me know if you like the cards and um, what you might be crafting. And if you're watching me on YouTube, thank you so much for watching me on replay. And uh, if you're new to my channel, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you on Friday over on YouTube for my Friday live on Friday morning at 11 o'clock. I'll see you all then. I'm here again next week for Coffee and Cards. Take care, everyone. Have a fabulous week. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.